and this is just getting ridiculously out of hand. I don't know what to say. This is uh, uh, crazy. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, Optimus Prime is going to be stepping out because we got pack seven of Agora models, build your own G1 Optimus Prime, and I believe we're going to be working on the legs. So let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and crack the seal on this box. There we are. Let's see what we got inside. We got trays, just like always. Get these out. One, tray two, and tray three. All right, let's get rid of this box. Okay, we got all three trays laid out here. And just like last time, we have one tray that's different. And these two trays look like they're going to be for the left and right foot. Uh, they both have the same parts in them. I'm guessing just uh, for one side and the other. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the build instructions here from the uh, from the Agora Models website. We have Optimus Prime Pack 7 here. This is assembling the right foot and assembling the left foot. I believe these are going to be the leg pieces that are attaching to those feet. Uh, this is tray 1 here. Then we have tray 2 and tray three and then we're going to be getting into the build here so let's go ahead and get started okay guys we got tr7-18 and two tr7-16s and we're just going to put those into it uh, the little ball part into this just like this all right now we have TR7-19, this one here. And we're gonna put that right over the top and sandwich that together. And we're gonna connect this together with two PB 2.3 by six screws. Now all the screws and bolts and nuts for this are a bit of an Easter egg hunt. So they're uh, hidden under different parts in this tray number one. So you're just gonna have to look around for them. All right, now this gets two of these screws in it and we're gonna go ahead and put one on each side here. There's one. Hey, there's two. It's going to look just like that. All right, we're going to build two of these. So here's the other one right now. All right, put those over to the side. Let's keep moving. Okay, so basically, since we're making the right and left leg, we're going to be doubling everything. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step here. Okay, so we're going to take TR7-13 here, and we're going to take two of the TR7-14s. And we're going to set that in the little ball part of that right into this here, just like that. And then we're gonna take TR7-17 and that's gonna go over the top of it like this. And then we're gonna flip that over and we're gonna put two PB 2.3 by six screws right here on this side. And there's one and there's two and it's gonna look just like that. And let's go ahead and make another one. All right, and there's two. Okay, now we're gonna take those two pieces that we just made and we're going to slide the silver part here into the yellow part, just like that. And we're gonna do that with both of them. Just like that. I'm gonna set those over here to the side and let's keep moving. Okay, we're gonna be working on this right foot now. We have it out from our previous builds. We're gonna be attaching PR723 to it with two of the M three by eight bolts and two of the lock washers here. Okay, we're going to slide this uh, PR seven dash two three into this side, the oval side, right in just like this. Okay, so it says right here that we are working on the right foot, uh, but it says to use the part marked L down here. So that's what I'm doing. Got it all together. When we get down here on assembling the right foot, and it says right foot, it's showing the left foot. 
Okay, this is not the right foot. This is the left foot, as you can see by the lights on the inside and where the cutout is. Uh, same on this picture here and this picture here. So I think we're supposed to be doing the we're supposed to be doing the left foot here, but it keeps saying the uh, right foot. So just keep that in mind while you're building this. This is actually you're working on the left foot, not the right foot. Uh, as you can see by all the diagrams, it's showing the left foot, but it keeps saying right foot at the top, which uh, threw me off a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over and uh, to the left foot and uh, continue working on the left foot. And then I'll come back to the right foot. Uh, the bolt part goes in first, and you only slide it into that first hole like that. So it's going to look like this with the bolt part sticking out the round hole, not all the way out, but you'll be able to see it. Uh, and this part sticking out this side. I did that completely wrong the first time, had to redo it. I don't want you to make the same mistake, so let's continue on from here. Let's go ahead and get these bolts put in. All right, so it should look like this uh, once it's in there. Okay, now it says to use uh, part TR7-4 uh, marked with an L, and then we're going to use TR7-1 and TR7-12, and we're going to take this piece is going to go in from the back here. There's a little stud that pops up right here that's going to fit into this trough. Uh, so it doesn't come off of it. And then on this side, uh, there are uh, little parts that stick up on the ends here, and they're going to fit into the recesses on both sides here. Just like that. And then this piece is going to be locked in. Okay, now we have four M3-14 bolts here. Uh, four nuts and four of the TR7-25 washers. These are not the uh, split type lock washers. And we're going to put the washers on the screws, bolt screws, whatever you want to call them. Okay, if you flip that back over, you're going to see uh, the nut shapes into in these recesses. We're going to go ahead and put a bolt into one of those right there. And then I'm going to thread that screw through Get that started, and we're going to screw that one down like that, and then we're going to go ahead and do another one, and another one, and get all four of them done. All right, it's going to look like that. We got them all tied on there, and that slides up and down. All right, so this one's going to go on this way around, and it's going to slide right over the top of that uh, that we just put on. And we're going to screw that on each side again uh, using two 3 by 10 M3 by 10 screws and then uh, two of those same washers that we used last time. We can get those loaded on and get these screwed in on each side. So we're just screwing those in, uh, one on each side. There's one, and I'm going to put the other one right here in this hole. All right, and we're going to tighten those down. Yeah, it might help to lean the leg out a little bit so you can get to that screw a little bit better. Yeah, that works better. Remember, this is an ankle, so you can move this to where you need it so you can get to the bolts. All right, let me get those snug down. There we go. There it is, guys. Get that all screwed on. And again, this is the left foot, not the right foot. Okay, guys, now we're going to do a little wire management here, and we're going to attach uh, some little plastic brackets that's going to hold the wire in place here, and, we, and they are... Uh, TR7-22, it's these wire brackets here, and we're going to do that with six of the PB 2.3x6 screws. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and screw this one on. And I'm going to put two more on here. Okay, and they're going to look just like that. Okay, now we're going to take TR7-23 and we're going to push it into this hole right here, just like that. And we're going to attach that with two of the 3 by 10 millimeter screws with uh, two of those same washers. All right. Let's get that put in there. Get the other one on the other side. 
There we go. All right, it's gonna look like that. Okay, now we have this uh, part here. This is TR7-15, and I believe this is just gonna be kind of a wire control in here. And uh, we're gonna attach this on with two of the PB 2.3 by six screws. Again, on here, it's gonna say PM 2.3 by six screws, but they, they are indeed PB. There are no PM screws in this, uh, just like the last time. So we're going to run this wire up around this way. Again, just trying to get this wire underneath like this and get this over it and down on here. But again, this needs to have enough wire that it will, you can go all the way up with it. And we're gonna go ahead and screw that down with those two screws. And there's one. And there's two. Okay, and the wire is still actually loose enough that it can slide through this. And it'll look just like that. Okay, now we have TR7-07, this little ankle piece here, and four of the PB 2.3 by six screws. And we're gonna put this right over the top of this, like that, and we're gonna screw that down with those uh, four screws. That's one, two, three, and there's four. And it should look just like that. Okay, now we have TR7-06, and it is marked on the inside with an L right there because we're working on the left foot. And we have three more of those uh, PB 2.3 by 6 screws. And we're going to put this one on the other side. and go right here, right up against that other one, and we're going to secure that here, 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 and here with those three screws. There's one. There's two, and there's three, and it's gonna look just like that. Okay, now we're supposed to move this back 20 degrees gently to continue on to the next step. Gonna move it back some, like that. Okay, we're gonna take one of these Part C's that we created earlier, and we're gonna be attaching this on. Okay, this is gonna sit down in there. There's a couple of uh, screw holes down there that's gonna sit on. Let's see so you can see what I'm attaching to. If you look down inside there, if you can see, I get the light right, right there and over here are two posts where these are gonna screw on to. It's kind of down in there, so make sure you got your magnetic screwdriver for this. Anyways, we're gonna sit that back down in there. Uh, the little notches are gonna sit over the two screws that are already in place down there to kind of hold it in place. And then we're gonna Use our magnetic screwdriver and drop the screw down in. There we go, I got it. Now one, I'm not gonna tighten it all the way down yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one going. And we are on, let's get those screwed down. That's gonna be hard to see, but that is screwed down in there. You know, we're gonna bring this up and we're gonna set it right over these two pegs like that, and we're gonna secure those on with uh, two more of those PB 2 by 2.3 by six screws. And there's one, let's get the other one on. And there you go, it's gonna look like that. All right, we got part TR7-02 here, and two more of the M3 by 10 millimeter screws and two more of those same washers that we've been using. Okay, and then we're gonna take it this way around with this uh, part here pointing towards the front of the foot. And we're gonna go right into the bottom hole there, right over that joint. And then we're gonna screw those in with these two screws on each side, just like we've been doing. Guys, if you got a driver that you can use, I just have a star bit on this and it fits this. Uh, perfectly fine. Now uh, use that. It's gonna make your world a lot easier. Go ahead and get that going in. And we're gonna get the other one going on the other side and then we'll tighten them down. There's one and there's two. Gonna look just like that. Again, this pointing towards the toe. Okay, now we have TR7-21, this little piece here. Okay, this is gonna go over the wire to hold the wire in place up here. 
uh, and it's going to go over these two holes. There's nothing to really kind of hold it. It would have been nice if they had to put some kind of peg or something to hold that in place, uh, but they didn't. So we're going to kind of put that on there. And we have two PB 2.3 by 6 screws that we're going to attach that with from the other side. Now, if you put the screw all the way through like that, then you can uh, you can line it up on the, uh, the hole that you're supposed to screw into. There we go. And we'll get that one started. Get the other one in and we'll snug them down. There it is. Now nice and snug. Okay, and it should look just like this. All right, now we got the other TR7-23. And that's gonna be going into the top here, just like that. And we're gonna screw that in with two more of the 10 millimeter, the uh, M3 by 10 millimeter screws with the uh, same washers we've been using on either side, just like we've been doing. That one going in, there we go. And we'll get the other one going in. And then we'll snug these all the way down. Okay, and it'll look like that. Okay, now we have part TR7-03, and we're going to fix that to this piece that we just put on. It's going to slide over it this way. It's the only way really it can go over it. And we're going to attach that again with two more of those M3 by 10 millimeter screws and the same washers we've been using. All right, and that's going to look just like that. Okay, now we have this little plate here. This is TR7-20. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that with that up there. There we go. And two PB 2.3 by 6 screws. We're going to bring the wire around this way. And this little plate's going to hold the wire between these two screw points here and here. And we're going to attach that down with those two screws. All right, let's get those both nice and snug. There's one of them done, and here's the other one, just like that. Here we go. Okay, now we got PR7-10, and we're going to be putting that on, on this part right here. And uh, you can see there's four uh, pins with screw holes in it and then these four recess areas. It only goes one way. Let's just put it on there, get it in. And then we're going to screw that in on this side, but you guessed it, four PB 2.3 by 6 screws. And there's one. Yeah, we're going to put three more in. Yeah, and that's all four, and it's going to look just like that. Yeah, now we got the other side of that. That's TR7-11, and we're going to put it on the other side. It's going to fit right over. Yeah, just like that. And then we're going to screw that in here, here, and here with three more of the PB 2.3 by 6 screws. I'm just going to drop them down in there. So I was trying to figure out why that, those wouldn't go in. You got to screw it in from the other side. That's why. There we go. That's better. Okay. There we go. And it's going to look just like that. All right, guys, that is the left foot complete. It's going to say on here that you have the right foot complete, but this is absolutely the left foot, not the right foot. But we're going to go ahead and build the right foot right now. All right, guys, here we go. And there it is. Man, that was awesome. I'm really liking this build, guys. We got two legs now, you know, partial legs, feet, partial legs. Uh, it's so big, it's hard to get it all on, on this shot. So let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. All right, guys, we are all finished with pack seven of the Agora models build the G1 Optimus Prime. And this is just getting ridiculously out of hand. I don't know what to say. This is uh, uh, crazy. All right, so I didn't uh, show building the right leg because it's pretty much exactly the same as the left the only difference is as you can see this piece is the same on both sides and on this one they have it running all the way up the same side all the way to the top 
And on this one, it starts, uh, the one that I just built, it starts on this side of the leg and then you push the wire through the hole and then it continues up the same way on this side of the leg. So that's the only difference. Uh, other than that, it went together the exact same way. Um, man, let me know what you guys are thinking. I don't know how I'm gonna film this thing once it gets to a certain size. It's it's crazy. Now, if you see the build, the, it's got these big leg pieces that's gonna be going on this. Um, it's, it's incredible, guys. It really is an amazing model, and I'm really enjoying building it. So if you guys are interested in building this as well along with me, I'll leave a link in the uh, description down below. And let me know what you guys think. Are y'all building this? Are you enjoying it? Uh, let me know in the comments. If you like these kind of builds, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo and this is Black and Red. See ya. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.